Okay, I'm back again. And now we're looking at the Zenith 20 inch color TV set. And I'm not sure if, if I've shown this one or not to any of you because normally this one had been in uh, just sitting, you know, not in, in operation. I mean, it, it, it wasn't in operation, not to the fact that it didn't work. It just I had no place to set it up so now I have a place to set it up and it's all connected to the cable and to give you a little overview of the rest of the setup I have a DVD CD combo unit and then down here at the bottom I got two more VCRs and then there's a DVD unit on top of that uh, on top of the combo but that unit isn't working and I am really really interested in finding out if any of you out there may have another DVD unit just like this that is in the condition where the drive works but the electronics don't work uh, what's wrong with this is the fact that when you try to open the door it doesn't want to open and also before that failed the, the CDs wouldn't record or play on there or the DVDs they, they started not playing correctly or they didn't play at all so I mean the, the, the drive is just the drive part on there is just totally shot so if um, if any of you out there may know how to either repair the drive that's in there or better yet to replace it that would be very very helpful because I want to uh, I'd like to get it running so I don't have to actually replace it with another one I've replaced it once I actually have another unit in the music room very similar to that and uh, the um, the unit that's in the music room works fantastic because it was actually modified so if there's any of you out there that can help me get this one up and running that would be great but anyway let's get back to the TV because that's what I wanted to show you originally but uh, any help that anybody, any of you can give me, that would be that would be fantastic. But here's the TV, and uh, as you can see here, let's put the camera light on. It might might be a little easier to see. There's the Zenith logo, and then over here are all the buttons. Notice it's all push button, and you and the uh, the first set of buttons operate the different menu functions like your picture, channel setup, um, the clock, the broadcast selection, you know, cable or, or air, meaning antenna, uh, AFC mode, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's all the functions because the sleep function, you have to use the remote for that. And then over here are your channels, volume, and uh, power. So let's go ahead and power this up. Let's turn the light back off. Less glare. This year's winner. At first, balance of this. Are there any words of advice that you'd like to pass on to your successor? And I'll tell you what. I've always been satisfied with Zenith products, no matter what what it is, either if it's a TV or a VCR. They they just happen to be the top. Well, one of the top uh, manufacturers. As you can see the the picture quality on this set is really really good. And again, this is another TV that's probably about. Uh, well, this one isn't quite 20 years old yet. This one's probably about 
17 because I got it in 92. This actually goes with a special uh, camera that allows you to read small print. So this is actually part of a closed circuit uh, reading system that I have. But I don't have any room to set up the, the camera unit. But the television works fantastic, so I, I thought I'll go ahead and use it. <clears throat> and as you can see, this is set up for cable. And your channel indicator, just like on the Hitachi, if you remember the Hitachi, it's up here in the upper right corner. Only these are shown in red. They're not white. So as you can see, it's set up for cable. Now, we're going to go to the auxiliary feature here because this gives me a black screen. And that way, you can see the, the menu that we can work with. When you hit the button right here, this one, it brings up the menu. And you have your auto channel. Oops. You have auto program, favorite channel band select, AFC mode, and time set. And then when you hit it again, this gives you your picture controls. And notice how this one shows up in green with white highlighted selection. And this shows up in cayenne, or like a turquoise color, with a white highlighted uh, selection. Now, this already has been uh, programmed channel-wise, but what we're going to do is going to reprogram it so you can see how the auto program works. So we select auto program, and then this button over on the left selects it. Nope, that clears it. That's not the one we want. It's one of these two arrow buttons, so let's try that. There we go. It says auto search. Now, the reason it said auto search and it didn't do anything is because it's on auxiliary mode. So let's do the same thing again. We'll go to a channel. We'll go to channel 2 and then hit auto program. Oh wait, you gotta hit it twice. Okay, let's let's try this again. I haven't done this for quite a while, so let's let's go back to the black screen. Okay, auto s program. Uh, okay, auto search. There we go. Auto search. Now, as you can see, uh, the square. Looking at it in in real view without the camera is a pure blue. The camera for some reason is causing that blue square to flash. So it it might be because of the uh might be because of the uh the frequency response between the camera and the uh scanning lines on the picture tube. And getting up closer it just makes it looks like it makes it just worse. But what I'm trying to show you is the dots that go across as it's programming the channels. I don't know if you can see it through the flashing there. It's, it's, it's visible, but that flash is so severe. Some, some TVs, when you program them, it shows you the channel actually scanning, but this one doesn't. It, it shows you the, uh, the blue square and says searching. And once it finds all of them, then it goes to the first available channel that it found, which would be channel 2. So we'll wait for it to finish its 
auto program and there it is we got the picture back and we should have the channels that we need now for some reason this programs some of these upper channels that have this flashing in it and this is like around probably the 100s or the one one teens or the one twenties so what I usually do is just manually cancel these out so that they're not viewable there and as you can see there we got a beautiful picture this is one of the best ways to demonstrate a TV is showing a sports event because I mean there's a lot of action and a lot of color changes and and it's just just one of the nicest ways to I think demonstrate a television set so that's pretty much it for this one so I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and I We'll still have more videos coming, so just keep watching YouTube and leave comments. And want to thank you for watching the videos that you've seen thus far. Have a great day.